Hello and welcome to a tutorial made for limited boredom. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make your avid picture. Just recently I got a question from someone who asked me how can I make a good avatar picture? And so I'm doing this tutorial to kind of explain what can be done. Now I think when it comes to avatar pictures or really any kind of graphic, what you think is good is kind of a matter of taste. Uh, personally, I like to keep my avipix kind of simple, not too crowded. So I'm going to show you a pretty basic and easy avatar picture that still looks pretty good. So let's get started on this thing. First of all, I'm going to double click this background layer and click OK. By that we just unlock it. By the way, I should probably say the canvas size is 160 wide and 220 tall, which is the size avatar pictures have to be. Okay, having done this, we right click on the layer, blending options, just gonna add a nice gradient overlay here. Now a gradient works this way that if we click here you can see in one side it has black, the other one white. Uh, basically what it does is just add a color, black, white, and then all the colors in between is what it adds. So if we click this color, we'll double click it, white, and just pick some color, whatever you want. I'm going for some kind of medium red. And so it goes from black to red and all the colors in between. So that's gonna be like a dark red kind of. Click OK and OK again. Uh, what I'm going to do is just take my avatar picture in here. Just click and hold. Drag that up here. I just open it in Photoshop so that I always have it. Now by hitting Control and T I can resize this. Just gonna drag it down a bit so I can see the corner. I hold down Shift so you keep the same ratio and just drag it. That way you resize. Move it up a little bit resize. Make sure you hold down shift otherwise it's gonna do like this and we really don't want that. We want to keep it the same ratio so it doesn't lose any quality. I think I want something like this. I think that's okay. Okay, just gonna place this having that done I'm going to just click this bottom layer because whenever you create a new layer it's going to be above the one that you have highlighted so if I click here you see it makes one on top of that if I click here it makes one on top of that layer and that's where I want it right now so I'm going to do that go pick a brush out click up here and I'm just gonna find something here that I want in. Double click that. And I'm just gonna set my foreground to white. And just click somewhere around there. Get another brush. Let's see what do I want. Mm. This might be okay. Click that. Just gonna move that a little bit. Yeah, something like that. You can probably find some better brushes and place it better and whatever you want in the background you can basically add there. So I'm gonna leave that to you, just doing something basic now. Now if you don't know how you get brushes and load them in, I have another tutorial in my channel that explain how do I find brushes and how do I load them into Photoshop. So I recommend you go check that out. Another thing that I should tell you is when you take pictures for your avatar pictures or any kind of artwork, I recommend that you take high resolution pictures of your avatar and make them without background because that's definitely the most easy to work with when you come to this point. Okay, so we've added some brushes here and we have them placed in a layer here. You can see if I hide that layer, they disappear. I'm going to set this blending mode to soft light and just change the opacity to about 70 
think that looks okay. Uh, having done that, I'm going to add a new layer on top of them all. And I'm going to just change around so my foreground is back to black. And hold down Alt and hit Backspace on your keyboard while holding it down. It adds your foreground color to that layer. As you can see, it went black now. Gonna take my eraser tool and the size should, I think 300 is gonna be fine actually. And zero in hardness. I'm just gonna place that somewhat sim somewhat centered, excuse my English, and just click once, click twice, and back to this tool. You can see I kinda added some darkness around the corners and leave it right in the middle. That kinda, mm, what can I say, it darkens the corners and it makes your avatar stand out more. And eventually we're gonna add some text up here that's gonna stand out better as well having done that. Okay, so we got that so far. I'm actually just gonna go ahead with the text I'd say. No, I should probably show you one thing first. Uh, if I select this layer of my avatar, hold down control and click on this kind of thumbnail out here just once you get that selection of it. Now go down here and select hue saturation. In saturation just slide it all the way down to minus 100. And you're probably thinking what is that supposed to be? I don't want a black and white picture. No but that's not really the idea here. But Once we go here and set it to soft light you notice it kinda becomes an overlay and it gives the skin on your avatar a really nice shading in my opinion so I usually always use that on my avatars to make the skin look better instead of kinda orange, boring it adds some more shading to it just gonna turn that opacity down to about 70 or so so it's not overdone but still gives a nice effect okay adding a new layer taking my text tool just pick whatever font you would like. I'm gonna stick with this one, I think. I'm gonna make this white. Just click somewhere and type in your name. And I'm gonna go back to this tool. Just move it a little bit. And having selected this layer, make sure that's highlighted. I can press Ctrl and A, which makes a selection of my entire canvas and up here I can center my text by doing so. Control and D to deselect and I'm just gonna move it up a little bit like about so and I'm gonna right click this layer blending options and I think I'm just gonna in this case I'm just gonna give it a little bevel and a drop shadow just gonna adjust that a little bit I think that looks okay I think I'm actually just gonna stick with that in this one. Later on I'm going to release a tutorial that explains more about fonts like what kind of effects you can do and so on. Uh, but in this one I'm just gonna leave it at that because I think it fits in pretty decent actually. Okay we have our name and pretty much everything is ready so I go ahead and make a new layer. Again control and A get the entire selection of the canvas, go to edit, select stroke, make sure inside is checked and I'm just gonna stick with two pixels and the color doesn't really matter at this point. Make sure this is normal, 100 and so on, standard. Click OK and Control D to deselect and I'm going to right click this layer, blending options. Now you could really just leave it at this white border as you see has been added now a little white border all around it but I wanna take it just a little bit further than that so I click here gradient overlay again we're working with the gradient uh, I think something silver would look kinda good so I'm gonna try to do like a silver gradient so the border comes out kind of silver take a light right here and 
just by clicking on this once and then clicking like anywhere here it you can see it adds a new one with the same color and if you want one removed just drag it down like this like click hold the mouse button drag it down and release and I'm gonna place this out here and one in the middle gonna place one here that's a bit darker click OK clicking this and then click anywhere it adds a new one in the same color as that and I think this looks kinda silver as you can see here probably looks even better on the border actually because it's like a thin line compared to here uh, just click OK on that and I think we're just about done really it's just saving it now and obviously you can do whatever you feel that you want on your picture but this is just a basic walkthrough on some of my techniques that hopefully teach you how you can come up with a decent looking Abbey picture in hardly any time actually so I think that's about everything for this time feel free to ask questions by leaving a comment and I will answer as fast as possible hope you learned something from this and I'll see you next time.